Hi, today I will show you how to make felted soap or put felt around soap. This helps your soap last longer. Also, because of the texture, it's slightly more abrasive. So if you have really mucky hands, such as a six year old maybe getting hold of some pens, it's really good for just scrubbing off. It also helps when you pop the soap on the side of the sink or in the soap dish, it's not gonna go so sloppy. This is one that my mini crafter, my six year old, did for me earlier. Um, it was meant to be a face. I will also do abstract today. I'm going to do some ones that look like a pebble. I find rounded edges to be easier. When covering square edges, they can poke through. This soap is quite nice because it's just slightly rounded. What you can also do, sorry, is just with a knife, take off that real sharp edge. There we go. So I'll do it around the rectangular one today. What you're going to need, you're not going to need bubble wrap. I just prefer to have the bubble wrap so that I can start laying my fibers out on there. You're gonna need soap, warm water, elastic bands are optional. Um, I'll explain why I like to use the elastic bands in a moment. Wool tops, I've got gray, white, and a little bit of green. I was thinking it might look a bit mossy with a bit of green. And an old pair of tights or old stockings. This is those little disposable socks that you get at shoe shops. They are absolutely brilliant for this. So first of all, we're going to lay out our fibers. By doing this, we're just going to take our wool tops, grab the wool tops in our hands, and then pull a small amount off and lay it out. I'm going to do that in the horizontal direction and then I'll do the vertical direction. So that's my base set up. Now for the outside, I just want a tiny bit of green. I don't know if you can see how fine that is. Just for the suggestion of a bit of moss. Maybe another tiny bit down here. And I am going to put a little white vein on it. Um, like a bit of quartz going through, but I will do that once it's around my bar of soap. Next thing, you can lay this out reverse, so you put your green down and then your gray so that you're working from the outside in. I prefer to do it like this so I can really see what's going on. So what I will now do is just flip it over. Just a few soap flakes there, that's fine. Pop it back onto my bubble wrap. Pop my soap in the middle. I will also get my little quartzy vein ready to go on. Now, just a case of folding. I like to fold the bottom, then the two sides, nice and tight, and then just roll it to the top. And then my nice little quartzy vein is just here. 
keep tight hold of this. You don't want the wool to come away from it. Pop it into your stocking. Quite tight around the wool. You can tie your stocking. This is why I use elastic bands so that I can reuse my stocking. If you tie it, you're gonna to have to cut it off. Using elastic bands is a bit of a faff to get off, but at least it means it's reusable. Now, all I'm going to do, I've got some warm water. It's not hot water, it's just warm. I'm gonna pop the soap in let some of those bubbles come out. Some of those air pockets get filled with water. And that's what we're aiming to do now, is just squeeze all those air pockets out. We're not wanting to rub yet. We literally just want to squeeze those air pockets out. You'll very quickly start to feel that the wool is closing around the soap. And now that you've got some bubbles coming through, you know you, you've cleared a lot of those air pockets and the water can get through to the soap. Now give it a little rub, we don't want to overly felt it because it's just going to use up all of our wool that we've put on there. Not our wool, all of our soap that we've got in there. Just start rubbing those fibres. You don't want to rub so hard that you're moving things. Like this. Just gently. Just so that you can slightly feel movement on your hand if you were to do it on your hand. Don't add more water, the more water you add the more suds you're going to get and that's the last thing we want. Make sure you get those corners. So I'm about there, I don't know if you can just see the fibres are starting to migrate through the stocking, which means they're starting to felt. We don't want them overly felted. As we use the soap inside, just washing our hands daily, the wool will continue to felt down. Take off the elastic band. Put that to one side. Take the soap out. Where you've tied it, you might get some little fibres coming up. That's fine. And you can see that those fibres have really started to catch on to the stocking. And we'll just gently pull those off. If you felted for a bit longer, what you will find is that it's harder to pull your stocking off. There we go. Now that we've got that off, we can just give it a little rub. No more water, just a little rub. Just to cover over where the top of the stocking was. My hands are practically dry now. I can feel bits of soap on it, but they're practically dry and that's all you need. One dunk of water and it will do it. What I will do now is I will just grab some cold water to give it a quick rinse in. I've got some clean cold water. This hasn't got any soap in it. All I'm gonna do is dunk the soap bar in there. It will help shock the fibers a bit. 
don't agitate it anymore because we don't want to use this soap too much. It helps to use cold water because one, it shocks the fibres, two, it means the soap won't sud up as much. Squeeze the excess water out. Just roll in an old towel. Just give it a squeeze. And there we go. One nice piece of stony soap. The whole process has taken less than 15 minutes and they are an excellent little gift or even just to make your soaps last longer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm uploading weekly now on YouTube. Every Monday evening you can catch a new video from me. Hope to see you again. Bye!